Hello again, everybody. Ryan Reese here with the Race Reels, and uh, we're here today. We're going to be reviewing uh, Dolphin Tales 1 and 2. And these films um, are the story of and are tributed to. To Winter the Dolphin. Uh, Winter passed away on November 11th after fighting a, uh, uh, I guess, a stomach infection. And uh, her loss was felt. <laughs> it was felt all around the world. Uh, for those of you who don't know Winter's story, uh, Winter was a dolphin. She was found off the shore of Cape Canaveral. Uh, she was caught in a crab trap at two months old. And her tail was damaged. To the point that they had to amputate her tail. Now, normally, the the initial thought was to euthanize Winter and uh, put her down because um, it's impossible for a dolphin to swim without his or her tail. But Winter found a way. <laughs> she. Uh, she overcame so many obstacles in her life. She found a way to swim without her tail. She started uh, wiggling around, kind of like a snake. But that movement, a dolphin's tail is meant to go like this. And that motion she was doing, kind of like a snake, that wiggling motion was damaging her spine. So the Clearwater Marine Aquarium mm -hmm. and, and the wonderful people there turned to a prosthetics specialist and uh, they made a prosthetic tail for winter. And she survived at the Clearwater Marine Hospital Aquarium For what, 15 and a half, 16 years swimming with a prosthetic tail. It became a, a therapy device essentially for winter. So, winter became an inspiration just all over the world for everything she went through, for people that have to rely on prosthetics, or people that lost their limbs, their arms, their legs, or whatever it was. She became such an inspiration for people that, you know what, you can do this because I did it. And, man, this is tough. Uh, losing Winter just was a loss for the entire world. And God bless the people at the Clearwater Marine Hospital Aquarium whatever you want to call it. Uh, they're a hospital. Uh, I don't care what anybody says. They're a hospital. I know over the years they became more of an aquarium status, but they're a hospital. Rescue, rehab, release. That's what they always stood for. And that's what they still stand for. So God bless those people over there um, for everything they did for winter, for everything they continue to do Uh continuing just to educate and to just everything they do. But we are here to discuss Dolphin Tales 1 and 2. A Dolphin Tale is the story of winter. Um, you know, from her entrapment in the crab trap to 
her rehabilitation with the, the tail to the, oh my god just everything about it Dolphin Tail is probably one of the best movies I've ever seen in my life which is fitting because if you know me personally I am a passionate lover of dolphins I love dolphins I consider them uh, their intelligence their their beauty just everything about them so uh, this thing really hit home with me when I first heard about winter and last year pretty much around this time to be honest uh, last year my wife and I had the opportunity to actually go to Clearwater Florida go to the Clearwater Marine Aquarium and we actually had the opportunity to uh, see winter we actually got our picture taken with winter and just see everything that the Clearwater Marine Aquarium has done and is currently doing so wow what an experience and I, I, I can't wait one day to visit them again and just continue to support everything that the Clearwater Marine Aquarium is doing now uh, they are really making a huge impact in animals lives that really need an impact to be made you know they deal with animals that can't survive currently whatever reasons they have in the wild you know <laughs> whether they're there temporarily or they're there permanently they're making such a difference in the lives of these amazing animals whether it be turtles or dolphins or sharks or sea otters or you know birds or whatever they're doing there they're making such a difference in the lives of these animals some of these animals will go into Clearwater Marine Aquarium and they're never going to leave for whatever situations they have if the Clearwater Marine Aquarium can bring in an animal and treat them and release them that's the greatest gratification they're ever going to have rescue rehab release that's their mission statement and in Winter's case they rescued her, they rehabbed her, but they couldn't release her because she would have died. <laughs> she she would have died a long time ago if it wasn't for the great people at the at the Clearwater Marine Aquarium. So Winter lived there for a very long time. And November eleventh she uh tragically passed away so oh this year just keeps getting worse and worse but um we're here to talk about the movie uh Win dolphin tale it is winter story uh this film stars uh nason gamble harry connick jr ashley judd chris christopherson Morgan Freeman, Academy Award winner Morgan Freeman. Uh, just to name a few, there's a hell of a cast here. Uh, this film was directed by uh, Charles Martin Smith. Uh, the music by uh, Mark Ishlam. And this film had a $37 million budget. It grossed almost $96 million worldwide. So this was a huge success in the box office. And as I'm talking, you hear it. Some of the, uh, some of the uh, film scores starting to kick in. What a film, really. Honest to God, what a film. It, this film will make you happy, it will make you sad, it will make you joyous, just everything about it. Uh, they did a hell of a job projecting Winter's story. And what's even more incredible about this film, Winter, the actual dolphin Winter, played herself in the movie. Uh, she starred in this movie. Uh, she is the star of this movie. Winter actually played herself in the movie 
And she plays herself in Dolphin Tale 2. So that's even more incredible. That they went through the movie star. <laughs> it's, it's absolutely incredible. So. Uh, Alex. Uh, hit the trailer please. In this changing world, it's harder than ever to find something extraordinary. But every once in a while, a symbol of hope breaks through. It's okay. I'm not going to hurt you. And this time, her name... How long has she been here? I don't know. ...is Winter. She hasn't moved since she got here. Help me. Hazel! He just wanted to see how she's doing. She's not good. She's in pretty bad shape. She really seems to respond to you. We can't make her want to live. She's going to have to do that part on her own. It was too infected. My dad said it had to come off. How is she going to live if she can't swim? There's got to be a solution. Excuse me. Hi. Can I ask you a weird question? This is Dr. McCarthy. Oh, hi, doctor. What can I do for you? Well, I was under the impression I was here to do something for you. I was afraid you'd say no. On September 23rd. You are going to school tomorrow, and that is it. Period. But winter needs me. When everyone else saw the impossible. Trying to put a tail on a fish. Nobody in his right mind would even try. Luckily, I'm not. Not what? In my right mind. They saw a reason to risk it all. That dolphin's taking us all somewhere. You can't give up on her. It's going to be okay. You both are. I mean, she likes you. Well, imagine my delight. You want to play? Bowling pin? You like the duck, right? We're here because of the most amazing animal and friend that I've ever known. And I hope you love her as much as I do. Yeah, wow. <laughs> that, that just... I'm gravitated to that trailer. Just immediately. How good that was. Um, if, and Winter aside, uh, Morgan Freeman. We all know how good Morgan, Morgan Freeman is. I mean, Seven, Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, Along Came a Spider, Kiss the Girls, The Million Dollar Baby. Just uh, anything. Anything Morgan Freeman is in is going to be amazing. Doesn't matter. Whatever he's in. It's going to be amazing. He can make a movie about uh, a, a guy that finds a random calculator on the street. It's going to be amazing. doesn't matter. It's Morgan Freeman. It's going to be great. And just <laughs> some of the stuff. Uh, Morgan Freeman, I love him. He consistently referred to Winter throughout the film as a fish. Swim, you fish! <laughs> and, and there was definitely a, a love-hate relationship with Winter and Morgan Freeman. So, uh, Alex got it. Oh my God, that was so great. Uh, to me, that was the, the the some of the best parts of the film was the the banter between Morgan Freeman and and Winter the Dolphin. I just thought some of that stuff was great. So. Good stuff, good stuff. But yeah, this film, absolutely amazing. Um, I loved it. It's amazing. Everything about it. God bless Winter. Uh, she is definitely going to be missed. God bless the staff, the just everyone at the Clearwater Marine Hospital. Uh, the Clearwater Marine Aquarium. 
whatever you want to call it, uh, as they just, they pulled out everything they could for winter. We thank Winter for everything she did and continues to do because um, it was revealed that uh, in the light of her death, what she died from, she died of a gastro infection. Uh, the knowledge and education that they gained from that, they're going to try to use to prevent this from ever happening again. So Winter is still inspiring the world so god bless winter god bless the cma we we love you guys uh me you know and my wife going there personally was just such an such an amazing moment and we'll never forget it we never will and then that takes us into dolphin tail 2 Again, Winter coming back to play herself in the movie. Uh, Harry Connick Jr. is back. Uh, Ashley Judd, Nathan Gamble, Morgan Freeman, Chris Christopherson. They're all back for, for the sequel, Dolphin Tale 2. And this one kind of revolves around Winter going into a depression after the death of, a, uh, of Panama. Panama was a long time... A resident of the Clearwater Marine Aquarium. She was a friend of Winter's. Panama died of old age. It's as simple as that. She died of old age and Winter became depressed due to the loss of her friend. And they pair, well, they attempt to pair Winter with a uh, juvenile dolphin named Hope. And uh, the, the, the movie is about that pairing. Um, will they accept each other? Will Winter accept Hope? Will Hope accept Winter, the dolphin without a tail? You know, it, it, it's a great... Dolphin Tail 2 was a home run. Um, it was absolutely incredible. Again, Charles Smith back for directing. Uh, Rachel Portman taking over for the uh, music portion. Uh, but like I said, everyone's back for the film. Uh, $36 million budget. Drew about $58 million worldwide. So not as much as the first Dolphin Tale, but it was still a box office success. It still did well in the box office. So excellent work. But that's what Dolphin Tale 2 is about. It's about uh, Winter overcoming uh, Panama's death and now having to be paired with Hope. Will they accept each other? You know, and it, it's such a powerful story. Uh, Winter, once again, playing herself. Hope plays herself in the movie, too. So you, you we're going to be introduced to Hope, the dolphin who is still with us, she's still alive, and she is a resident of the Clearwater <laughs> Marine uh, Aquarium. So. <sighs> Hope's just too cute. Alex, go ahead, play Hope. Jeez. Hi guys, welcome to Clearwater Marine Aquarium. How's everybody doing today? <laughs> Looks like Winter's being extra playful today. Winter's been such an inspiration for me. Isn't she just amazing? Your female bottlenose, Winter. She's not doing well, Clay. No one's allowed back here. Winter's not feeling very well. Does he ever come out? Not much. It's hard to even coax her out to eat. You ever try bacon? It works with my cat. <laughs> Winter needs to be paired with another female and soon. I'm giving you 30 days to correct the problem. Hey guys, Marine Fisheries just picked up a stranding. Clay, it's a female. All right, everyone, when that truck arrives, you will hear one voice and it will be mine. Sawyer, I want you right beside me. That's them. Oh, she's 
so little. We gotta get her in the water fast. I'm gonna take her myself. Now all we can do is hope. That's your name. Hello, Hope. Can we talk about pairing her with Winter? You can't just throw two dolphins in the water together. If they don't like each other, we'll lose Winter. What are we supposed to do? It's a big world, Sawyer. You have to shake it up now and then. I know Winter. If we don't give her this chance, what do we do? I don't want to look back on this knowing we didn't even try. Sawyer's right. <laughs> My sentiments exactly. Cut it out! What is your issue? We don't know for sure if dolphins feel friendship. It feels like they do. That's not a bad thing. Is everybody set? Okay. Send hope. What is wrong with that bird? Where do I start? Yeah, oh my God, she's so cute. <laughs> she was so cute back then. Uh, my wife and I actually, we saw Hope when we went to uh, CMA uh, uh, last year. So, it's gorgeous. So as much as uh, winter has expired the world, she has. She's the first uh, dolphin to completely lose her tail and uh, have it replaced, excuse me, with a prosthetic. But she wasn't the first dolphin to be fitted with a prosthetic, I actually found out. Uh, there was a dolphin... <sighs> I guess 2014 uh, his name was uh, or excuse me her name was uh, Fiji Fuji excuse me Fuji and uh, Fuji died in 2014 at the age of 45 in uh, in Japan and uh, she was the first dolphin to be fitted with prosthetic winter wasn't the first it was actually Fuji uh, Fuji, she didn't have, she didn't have her full tail fitted, it was actually just a portion of it, so she was actually the first dolphin to be fitted for aesthetic. Uh, Winter was the first to have her full tail, uh, fitted with her prosthetic, so, so there you have it. Uh, Winter wasn't the first, it was actually, uh, Fuji. I had her tail uh, fitted with prosthetics, so. And 45, wow. Fuji, damn. 45 fitted with prosthetic. That was, that's amazing. 45 for a dolphin. God bless, God bless her. So, uh, that's where we're at. Uh, that's Dolphin Tales 1 and 2. Like I do on this channel, I don't want to give much away if you haven't seen these movies. If you haven't, let's go. Uh, hit them up. Um, I don't think they're... Um, I don't think they're anywhere on social media. And by that I mean, um, you know... Not social media. I, I, uh, YouTube... Er, <laughs> sorry. Uh... Uh, Netflix, uh, Hulu, Peacock. You you could obviously you can watch them on Amazon Prime. Um, I don't know what the charge is for them, but uh, I don't think they're anywhere on the streaming services. Uh, you can go to Amazon now and buy the DVDs or the Blu-rays and get them and watch them. But if you haven't seen them, I definitely suggest you do. They're excellent films. And they really uh, just en en encapsulate everything about winter. Uh, so definitely make sure you check them out. Uh, winter, thank you so much. We our hearts 
go out for you. Our hearts go out for the uh, Clearwater Marine Aquarium and everything that they're going through. They lost uh, they <laughs> they lost a, a friend in winter, and uh, the whole world lost the inspiration, a role model, just everything. So I'm getting actually teary here. So, definitely check out the Dolphin Tail movies. They are very good, both of them. And I'm sure if uh, Winter hadn't passed, they would have made another one. Maybe they'll do one in the future about hope or something. I don't know. It was perhaps the most poignant part of Winter's Dolphin Tail her special connection with humans who also struggled with a disability. I just think it's really neat because we relate a lot because she had to learn to do things differently and so did I. Winter's story began when she lost her tail after being caught in a crab trap in 2005. When she arrived at the Clearwater Marine Aquarium, she could hardly swim. But then she was fitted with a prosthetic tail. Winter could swim again and people came to see. Winter is her absolute favorite animal that inspires her to continue her therapy. And um, therapy is very hard for Quina, but she is absolutely getting stronger and Winter definitely helps her. Winter's story of survival became a book, Dolphin's Tale, which led to two Dolphin's Tale movies. Looks like Winter's being extra playful today. Dolphin's Tale in 2011, and then Dolphin's Tale 2 in 2014, bringing the story of an injured dolphin to millions of people. We know that we're not going to be able to heal them from whatever brought them here, but the ability to just kind of cheer them up, give them a stuffed winter doll, and just have fun with them is, is really a total honor for us. Winter was a star, and her story changed the small Clearwater Marine Aquarium into the center of a worldwide phenomenon. My prosthesis said, why don't you go ahead and um, have them watch, you know, the dolphin's tail, and that could help them kind of, you know, relate. It's a neat experience for them to see recovery and healing, and that winter's okay, and that means mommy's okay. As the crowds grew, so did the aquarium, becoming a major tourist attraction because of winter. Winter is different. And so are we, right? And everyone loves animals, everyone loves dolphins. And, but when you see one that actually lost a tail and is using a prosthetic uh, tail instead and is doing good, is swimming, is living life, I think it's a great inspiration for all of us, especially the kids. Never before had a dolphin without a tail been rehabilitated. Techniques and materials used for Winter's prosthetic have been used to help human amputees and she will live on in her movies. Welcome to Clearwater Marine Aquarium. Winter's story spread across the world and across age groups. Her story brought smiles and tears, and people from everywhere came to Clearwater to see her. She gives us inspiration and um, to, never, to never give up. Some say dolphins and humans have a special connection, but perhaps the most special of all was Winter. She gave a dolphin's tail to the world. Lloyd Sowers, Fox 13 News. So make sure you uh, hit up our Facebook page, at the Race Reels. Like the page. Check it out. Twitter, at the Race Reels. YouTube, the Race Reels. And you can hit me up personally, at the Ryan Race. We'll talk wrestling. We'll talk movies. We'll talk whatever we're going to talk about. Uh, coming up next on the race reels, um, we're, we're approaching the end of the end of the year, the end of 2021, and we're going to discuss a film that's more chilling than, than The Exorcist, and a film that will probably scare the hell out of you, and it's just perfect. It's perfect for the uh, for the new year. We will be discussing Arnold Schwarzenegger's The End of Days. Yes. That's coming up next on the Race Reels. If you haven't seen this film yet, I get a head start before I do my review and actually watch it. Uh, the End of Days is amazing. It was Arnold Schwarzenegger's attempt at horror. And I think he... 
I think he hit a home run with it. I thought it was great. So, that's coming up next on the race reels. The end of days. So, fitting, because we're coming up to the end of the year. So, this is the true New Year's uh, Eve movie. If you want to watch a good New Year's Eve movie, that that's it. So, that's what we got coming up next on the race reels. Um, the end of days. Um, thank you for tuning in for our Dolphin Tail review. Once again, Winter, we thank you. We will miss you. And God bless the people at the Clearwater Marine Aquarium, Clearwater Marine Hospital, whatever you want to call it, for everything that they did with Winter the last 15, 16 years. And everything that they're going to continue to do in the future to rescue, rehab, and release all of our, uh, all of our, all of our friends that live in the waters and the air and everything. God, bl God bless them all. They have my love, they have my respect, and they have my prayers. So, with that said, I appreciate everyone tuning into the race reels. Hope you enjoyed the dolphin tail uh, discussion. Uh, definitely check it out. Uh, end of days will be coming up next. It's going to be a good time. Uh, as always, race reel shirts are on sale. They're $15. Um, proceeds will go to Hazel Animal Shelter in memory of my departed dog uh, Daisy, who I, who I miss terribly. <laughs> And I love so much. I'm Ryan Reese. You wish you were. And I will be talking to you all really soon. Thank you for tuning into the Race Reels. Love y'all. Some of you. Not all of you.